You guys know what this is about. You guys saw the tweet. My uh, my dear cat Jambo found himself in the hospital again. That's why I couldn't stream last uh, last Friday. Let me see if this works. <laughs> the unregistered Jambo Cam 2. So I'll give you the rundown. As you guys might know, I didn't make a video on it or anything. I just tweeted about it uh, last time. This was probably back in September. The dude ate magnets. Jambo is not a very smart animal. He's He's actually quite dumb. He's a silly little feline. But he's so lovable. That's the thing I like about Jambo because it's like, okay, yeah, the dude, the dude is not, he doesn't have everything going on upstairs. But the cats that do, have you ever liked a cat? Have you ever gone to someone's house and their cat is just like sitting in the corner looking at you like, and you can just tell like this is the most intelligent being in the house right now? Jambo is not like that. Jambo is a very lovable, very caring. He's dumb. He's dumb. He's a dumb piece of shit. He's a dipshit. <laughs> he just doesn't get it that you, he can just push it on through. But this means that, you know, all he's got room for in his brain is love. And hunger. The dude has eaten 11, 11 fridge magnets before. There was a photo of Jambo's x-ray of his stomach full of magnets. Full. Just like ground up, mushy magnets. And the problem with magnets is that if they get into like your small intestine and, and shit, that is not good. Because what magnets do is magnets, I don't know if you guys know, the magnets stick, they stick together. Which means if some gets into your intestine, which is, oh, you know, it, it fucking curves and shit, it'll start, they'll start like ripping up the intestine. Not good, not good. And so I was very lucky to have noticed the lack of magnets when I got home. The dude was acting fine. He was like, oh yeah, just another day. I ate 11 fucking fridge magnets. And we took him to the vet and the vet was like, how the fuck did this happen? So yeah, he was just in a silly goofy mood. He was busting it down sexual style. Come through. Come through. Come through the hole, don't twist at me. Fact of the matter is they had to cut him open. It was a surgery called a gastrotomy. It's like a C-section, but when shit is stuck in your stomach because you ate food instead of having a baby. They were really kind. They were like, oh yeah, we thought you might want the 11 magnets. So they gave me a little tiny Ziploc baggie of all of the, <laughs> of all of the magnet mush that was in his stomach. They gave it back to me. They're like, hey, you might want this. Put it back up on your fucking fridge. Go fuck yourself. Also, I charge you $5,000 for surgery. I thought that was it. I thought the dude had stopped and learned his lesson. You think the dude had learned his lesson by now, but uh, no, he is so dumb. Oh, big jambo stretch. Big jambo stretch, come on. I thought that was the end of it. I thought, hey, you know, the dude, the dude learned his lesson. He spent uh, two weeks or more in a cone and a cage, and it was it was awful. The dude shat on himself. He would like rub it in on himself. So I thought, hey, you know, if there's anything I can do to uh, get you to stop eating magnets, maybe it's because you're hungry. I started feeding him more, right? And this is when Jambo became fucking Garfield, and it actually worked, right? Didn't it work for a time, Jambo? You stopped eating anything else because I would just, I would open feed him. Um, and he got big, 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 big boy. Give me that! Give me that back! No, no, no! But I don't want him to be big. I mean, I, I don't want an unhealthy kitty. I slowly weaned him off of, of all the, the food and lo and behold, the dude starts, starts nibbling again. This whole thing culminated on Friday. S-Fan barges into my room and uh, he doesn't know that I sleep on my couch. No, Jesus Christ, hello? God. Need help? Oh. Okay. Come on. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not good. Oh, I'm sorry. Bud. Bud. Bud, you got it. Bud. Make up your fucking mind. Esmond comes in and he's like, Hey man, Jambo just threw up. And Jambo never throws up. He's never thrown up once um, in, his, in his entire kitty life. He's been alive for about a year and three months now, I think. And I go over on the steps and sure enough, there is some puke there. He, he did month on the steps. But yeah, the dude threw up on the steps and I was like, oh, that's weird. I cleaned it up. Uh, the dude was acting fine though. And uh, I was like, okay, let's keep an eye on it. And I, you know, I go into the office. I, I start preparing my stream. I gotta put you back in the cage. Big Guy, big guy, big guy, stop it, big guy. 30 minutes before I'm supposed to stream again, Esben calls me and he's like, hey man, he threw up again. And this time it wasn't uh, wasn't like solid. It was very runny. Something was wrong, you know? And I know this I know this fella's track record. So I was like, okay, he's acting fine, but there very well could be 11 more fridge magnets in this guy's stomach. 
I cancel the stream and uh, I take him to the vet. I have to wait because it's a walk-in. It's not like the dude is not on the verge of death. So I have to wait a good five hours just in the waiting room before the vet even sees him. And then they do an x-ray and they don't, they don't see anything. And so it's like, okay, probably nothing is wrong with him. I'm talking to the vet. She's like, okay, we could probably do outpatient. You know, you take him home, you give him some nausea medication and you're fine. And then I'm like, okay, let's do that. Let's try it. She goes back in to get Jambo. Jambo literally vomited the second she touched him. The second. He must really hate women because he it was like she picked him up, picked him up, based. I know, right? He's so confused. He doesn't know how to come out. He wants to very badly. Oh. Come on, big dog. Oh. Yes. You got it. Come on, Jambo. Let's go, Jambo. Let's go, Jambo. And then she was like, okay, there's something wrong with him. Um, something is still probably in there. I explained the whole track record. You know, I'm like, he did eat 11 magnets one time. And she was like, 11? And I'm like, 11, yeah. And then she pulled up the old x-ray because they still had it in the system. And she was like, holy shit. There is probably something wrong with this guy. We'll do an ultrasound in the morning because that's the other way to see what the fuck is inside of him. So it's like Jambo's little child, uh, except uh, instead of a child, it was a foreign body in his small intestine. They found it uh, at like seven in the morning. I got a call at seven. And uh, they were like, hey man, uh, there's something in there. And we got to do that same surgery again. We got to do another gastrotomy. <sighs> oh. No, you, you idiot, just walk through. Just walk, just, just walk through, man. You're not that dumb. You're not that dumb. So there was something in his small intestine. Liquid was starting to build up in his stomach, and I was just like, all right, fuck it. Put him under again. Do that whole thing. Surgery happened on Saturday morning, and uh, they kept him through Sunday. I picked him up Monday, so this is the second full day he's been with me. And, you know, he's got the same setup. He's got the cone of shame, as, uh, as per usual. He's got the cage. This is the third time he's gotten the cone, which is awesome. He must be really psyched. You could just tell he's just dejected. I actually have it. You guys want to see what he ate this time? I have no idea what this is. No idea. I'm going to be real with you. No idea. He doesn't even want to come out. He's just so tired. He is so bing chilling right now. Come on, dude, water. Yeah, there it is. Watch, Jambo's gonna do a big Jambo stretch. Here it is, big Jambo stretch incoming. No, he's not even interested. I just realized it's a foam tip. Oh my God, dude. He's taking chunks out of it. Oh, what the fuck are you looking at? Uh, the dude is, uh, he's stable. He's doing all right. I can show you the cut. You guys want to see the, show everybody your, 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 uh, your cut. And they shaved him. It, now, he, now he's got two shaved wrists. He looks so dopey, dude. He wants to go exploring, because it's a new place. I'm sorry, what do you want? I don't speak that language. You can't. Listen, as much as I know you want to be out and about and do cat things, you have to be, you have to take it easy for a bit. Isn't that right, Bubba? That's a new noise. I'll let you in on a little uh, fun Jambo fact. Like this is an episode of BuzzFeed Worth It. Little Jambo fact. The dude has cost me over $10,000 in medical fees in the past six months. American moment? Dude, are you telling me you guys have free healthcare on your fucking cats? You guys have free healthcare on the cat? No way. But uh, no, in America, we don't have any of that. I, listen, I don't know what you want. Can I help you? I know, bud. I know, you're in the cage. I know, you're gonna be there for like 10 more days at least. I know, listen, I know, it's. I don't wanna be doing it either. Dude is upset, rightfully so. But, you know, at the end of the day, he made his fucking bed and now he's gotta lay in it, literally. I'm sorry, man. I, wanna, I want you to be hanging with me, but you, you ate more stupid shit. All right, listen, don't give me, don't give me back talk about this. This is your fault. This is your fault. 
Don't get, don't talk back to me, Jambo. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I know. I know. Dude is so dumb. But I love him, you know? And he's, he loves me too. Unfortunately, he's just in a, a rough situation. But he will get better, I promise. He will be good. <sighs> All right, well, that's pretty much the Jambo press briefing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. That's just an update. Whoa! Oh, hey, no! Chill with that. Chill with that. Chill with that. Chill. Chill.